Subreal Matias the best champion at 140 right now? Well, the lineup includes Tiafimo Lopez, Devin Haney, and Pitbull Cruz. And a growing number of fans are starting to point out that compared to these other 140 pound champions, Matias is actually the most dangerous and explosive fighter. But does this mean he's the best though? Well, despite being a little underrated, Matias' popularity amongst casual and hardcore fans have been steadily growing. As a matter of fact, many fans were delighted upon hearing the news that Matias is now part of Matchroom. By being part of a major promotion, Subreal Matias is now able to play with the other kids in the sandbox. Many fans and supporters of Matias are claiming that all these other mainstream names are actually afraid of the so-called boogeyman, and that they're purposely not calling out Matias because they know what Matias is capable of doing. Meanwhile, critics are saying that the reason why their champs aren't really interested in Matias is simply because a fight with him won't do well in pay-per-view buys and ticket sales. Also from a business perspective, fighting Subreal Matias may be one of those high-risk, low-reward situations. So going back to the question if he's the best, well, the only way to find out is if these boxers actually start fighting each other. As of right now, Matias is scheduled to fight Liam Pero in his hometown of Puerto Rico. Matchroom's Eddie Hearn has previously stated that once Matias is done fighting Liam Pero, and assuming that he wins in a convincingly manner, he's hoping to make a fight between Subreal Matias and Tiafimo Lopez happen. But what about you? Who do you think is the best fighter at 140 right now? Also, do you think these other fighters are actually purposely avoiding Subreal Matias? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more quick talks.